This time we're going to take a look at the word astrology in Descript. Sorry, I'm not quite sure if that fit on the screen there. We'll just have a quick look at the letter ST here before I, I drew it off the line there. So we've got the ST, there's the alternate version of the T, which is used in conjunction with the S like so. It can also be TS, so you could start with that T and then go into the S like so. And you can go ST, ST, as many times as you like. Just so we know, because we're about to look at that there, and I don't have room to write at the top. Okay, so the word astrology in Descript. Now let's look at the simplest possible combination of these letters. That would be A, S, T. Now TR is a hard combination to make. There's several ways we can go at this. We could try closing that and connecting the R, or we could go A, S, and then we can draw the word line down. The word line is the horizontal, or the line that runs down the middle, and is not really part of the, any letters or something. It's, it's meant for word letters to connect on, such as B, C, L, as you can see. So if we extended a word line off of the S, we could then go T, and the R could be built in. And that's a little smoother and better than this one. I hate trying to connect the T like that. And then the T starts to close the space, and people start to wonder what it might be, because it starts to look like a square, and it's just confusing. So, a straw. Sorry. O, L, O, G, Y. Now, that's the simplest possible way to connect these letters. Let's look at what kind of combinations we have. First of all, we can incorporate the ST, as I was talking about before. So we would just S-T-R-O-L-O-G-Y. Looks a lot better already. Now, what we can do is look for double letter combinations. So A-S can be done like so. Instead of drawing the S out of the bottom, you can just draw straight out of the top there. So A-S-T could become A-S-T. Much better, much better. A single stroke without lifting the pen. Now. We, once we reach the O, we reach a closed space vowel, and as we've seen before, closed space vowels have a special, special quality. They can eat letters. So the L, for example, we could draw the L inside of the O, right in the middle if we like, and this is OL. Now, for the L, this vertical line here is not necessary, so a single dash inside of an, an O is clearly an L, always. Why? Because, again, we're dealing with a word line. This is really part of the word line. It's not part of the L. Just as this is, this is part this part of the word line, this is the C. The dash is what makes the C, not the word line itself. So we're looking at our O can eat the L. An O can eat a G as well, so this O could eat that G. And then the Y is also in closed space, but it's a final letter, so we can't do anything with that. So if we were to use those two double letter combinations, we would have A, S, T, R, O, L, O, G, Y. Starting to look a lot better now. But, as we were looking at before with eating letters, the beautiful thing about eating letters is you can just incre keep increasing the side of the L and keep eating more letters. So we can go A, S, T, R, O, L, O, G, Y. Now another combination we have with the G is we can put the Y inside of the G like so. So that's always available to us too. And the G can curl any which way you like. It doesn't matter which way it curls as long as you have a curl. A curl is a G, it's never anything else. So if we were to, we could also just try to eat everything after the O. So we could go A, S, T, R, O. And we could use the full version of the L if we like, so that it connects it all into a single strip. O, G, Y. Astrology. And you can keep playing with sizes, ratios, portions. You could take out that line if you want. Uh, you could go, you could then build, sorry, let's start that again. I need a much bigger space for this. A, S, T, R, O. L, O, G, Y. Astrology. So you can keep building inside of inside of inside of as well. Those are also options. Um, this uh, is looking pretty good. We'll stick with what we got here. Well, maybe not that last version I just did, but we're going to try to make a nice square-like character to kind of look like a symbol or a glyph. So that's easy at the top. We've got our AS that's kind of our bar across the top. The ST can kind of even it out and bring it back to the middle. We might want to skew the circle a little to the left. It looks a little empty over there. I didn't... Oh, okay, that's close enough. I mean, you can imagine how I could fill that in. A-S-T-R. Sorry, I forgot to draw my R here. O. And then L. O. G. Y. Interesting. Uh, probably not the best one, but play with it yourself. See what you can find.